Good afternoon everybody, it's me again. Um, happy August everyone. Uh, can't believe that it's August already. Um, so it's just what I thought I'd do is just do a quick flip through of my August day book um, with the idea really of sharing some inspiration on how you can decorate just a simple junk journal. So as you know, I'm working in my uh, summer journal. So this is um, June, July and August. And uh, so obviously now it's uh, August, we're on the last month. And um, yeah, I thought we'd just dive in and just share with you um, what I've done just to decorate it. So first and foremost, all I've added to here is some um, of the lovely letter stickers um, that I have. I just love the color that colour orange uh, against the beautiful blue. And this, um, these uh, images I've been using all the way through, as you know. Uh, let me see, have I just glued this? I have, without realising. So um, a lot of the pictures are from this book of English poetry. So some of the poetry I've left in. Um, this here, um, I've just moved along, is from a um, happy mail from my friend Regina. So I've just moved that from July to August I think I thought that could be really pretty so I've just added here some little pieces from my vintage ephemera box um, and just stamp some um, the dates because I'll be uh, just doing a little couple of notes um, daily scripture on each um, yeah daily scripture and little comment so I just think these stickers are lovely these stickers are lovely um, and here just um, sticker letters um, alphabet stickers they're called aren't they not sticker letters stamping and um, again I think I've just added that was from my vintage ephemera box from Rosie R Atelier this was just a piece of um, card stock from a scrapbook that um, paper I've been using recently uh, this I love actually just added a little bit of card here that's all I did a little bit of card cut it out with my fancy sort of like fancy edge scissors and um, yeah, I just like the colour of that with the blooms here and this lovely, can you see that? That was from my um, ephemera box. I think it's a June, the June one's just arrived. So that's, uh, so there's gonna be quite, uh, yeah, I've done, treated myself to one. Um, I will be popping quite a few of those bits in my treasures collection, um, which we'll talk about in a moment. So yes, just here, just opened up. Mm, what's this called index card um tea dyed oh maths paper you know yeah <laughs> and again a little sticker from um our atelier from my book from my box love that i love that and i've just stamped the dates all i did here was i just added um I added the paper, the little scrap that I had, uh, folded it over, added it like a little flip out. And this again, this is from um, these little stickers here. That's from my um, ephemera box, as is this lovely little, um, it's like a little uh, bunch of post-its. How pretty is that? And then I've just stamped the tent from there. And that stamp actually was from Rosie. I've had it maybe a year. One more. So if you can see, it's like a, yeah, it's just so pretty. It goes up to 12, it just goes up to 12, but you could almost colour these in, couldn't you? You could almost colour these in. Ephemera box, um, just cardboard, oh, not cardboard, yeah, cardstock really, and stamped. This is from that scented garden book. I just love the images in this book. I just love the pages. Love the pages, and that's just really pretty. And again, uh, yeah, just the paper on there. That's all you'd need, really. You know, you don't need a lot to decorate a, um, a junk journal if you've got a really nice selection of pages that you like. This um, is from uh, the book, you know, the, the uh, poetry book. And on the back, I think, where is it? Where is it? If I can see the other side to it. Oh, I'll show you in a moment anyway. But I just thought that was so English um, for just going out and about, you know, in, in the summer. And um, then I just popped this little washi piece on there um, with um, a camera and headphones and 
a little sort of travel bag. I thought that would look really nice up there. When we're out and about on our picnics and things, usually in the summer. Uh, this poem, Poems of England, is lovely, actually. Um, yeah, so I've left it as is, and I've just um, done the dates. That's from, these are, that's washy from um, Rosie, and that is from my ephemera box as well for June. Uh, this was from washy. I've highlighted in a video, haven't I? Vintage things, I think. Uh, it's just a little cup. Isn't it beautiful? A little cup and saucer. Just love it, love it, love it, love it. Just stamping, stamping and washy. Uh, this here is from um, from a happy mail from Regina. I just loved. I'd had it tucked in here for a while, but I thought I'd flip it out. Uh, I've done it as a, like a tip in. Pop the little vintage camera on there from my ephemera box. Thought that'd be nice for just a little bit of extra journaling space for me. And um, paint sample things is amazing just how they can highlight a page, um, bring a bit of colour to anything, or you can just use it as a tuck spot, which is really quite nice, should you wish. So just a little cheap and cheerful tip. Beautiful, that's just the other side of the um, oh, uh, scented garden page, love it. And a little bit of paper here that I've had in my stash, a little cut off, and just sort of did a little bit of a, you know, just added that to it, and that was all. And the stamp for 26. Modern living bits and pieces, that was one of my washy bits from um, Rosie. You see, you're getting a lot of use from them, and um, I love this poem, and I like I like that. I think that's just such a beautiful image. I think these are from the, like, um, are they London Transport? Um, railways, Railways Vintage museum -y, postery things, but they're beautiful. So I just liked that, and I just popped the little uh, bit of, added a bit of journaling space there. And again, I just thought, uh, again, this is just from my ephemera box. Isn't it lovely? This little vintage element then uh, about, you know, travel. And obviously noting your travels as well. And I've just done some paper over the page and blended it in with the stamping for the 27th. Other side of the paint um, sample. And again, just a little bit of, just a little bit extra detail with the sticker. Give it a bit of a lift. Now this was my, my treat because um, it's a day book. And um, I'll be using it, and then I'll be moving on to my autumn one. So it's nice to put something in, but this is from my this um, sticker book that I've just do, 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 done a share of. And I'll be popping in uh, some other books as well, but I wanted one in mine. So I thought that looked lovely there. And it kind of goes with the whole um, fashion forward graphic 45 thing that we've got going on, um, I thought. So... And that was uh, ephemera box, washi. This paper already, this vintage is eyes to paper. Lovely weight, I think it's 90, is it 90 GSM? This is from Amazon. Looks like it's been coffee or tea dyed, but it hasn't, it, um, it's just as is. Pop this in there, because it had a little poem about the, um, uh, from the Duke of Marlborough's house at Woodstock, that's Blenheim Palace just down the road, which is lovely. And um, this was from uh, By the River, it's called, Down the River, from the poetry book. And I just loved that image, and so I just tipped it in, really. And I just popped Oxford here because, you know, just because. Just around the corner, and it reminds me of... Uh, down the so this is the other side of that sandwich and flasks um, page, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love it absolutely love it so um i just thought that goes so well in an august day book doesn't it a quintessentially british kind of summer day so just a little bit of layering tiny bit of of the paper there uh, the sticker i indulged in another sticker here thought that looked really nice really stylish and i liked it with those colors 
but plenty of room for my journaling there. 30th, 31st. That was just a little, just a little bit of uh, car stock from the uh, scrapbook paper that I have, I used in another project. It was really nice and I haven't really had much for myself, so. My World Book of Flowers, that's from this. Uh, and I just, there's a kind of a sticker here for some vintage adverts. I popped it on here, a bit of a mistake really. Doesn't really pop because of all this busyness going on on the back there. Could have put it on a plain page, but I'm going to use some more in the the others. So there we go. So that's it, guys. That's my August. Um, no, oh, that's my August, and I should have popped that in again. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Maybe you found some um, interesting ideas. Just how to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Use what you have. Add it just to jazz up a very simple junk journal. Um, add colour, you know, whatever you want to do. But do enjoy. Um, I'm about to, I'm just finishing off my treasures. So this will be probably the next video. Um, so these actually are sold, believe it or not. So they've been sold and paid for and before I've even finished them. So I'm just about to start decorating moments, story. Oh, I've got the pages in. Uh, moments, story and beautiful and documented so they're all about to be they're all about to be finished um de decorated so some of these beautiful um images uh, stickers and washi and everything else are going to go in here too so keep your eyes peeled and uh, speak to you soon bye 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 guys bye